Hey, my name is Joe Roderick. If you drink Twining's tea, then this video is of interest to you. In general, I don't drink copious amounts of caffeine. Since I'm nearly 48 and three quarters young, I'm forever trying to lose my baby fat. The short of it is that I tend to diet, or at least somewhat watch my weight for two to three days and then I have a day off. No, I won't tell you how much chocolate I consume on my days off. What I've found is that making a jug of iced tea is a huge help in curbing my appetite. On days that I don't sip the tea, I'm ravenously hungry. However, I digress. I was introduced to Earl Grey nearly 30 years ago. I've always been very fond of it, especially Twining's recipe. Perhaps I should say I was fond of it until the quality standards dropped below an acceptable standard. It costs twice as much as any local brand. Local being South Africa, of course. Have you experienced one of Twining's tealess bags yet? I tried to discern the bergamot, which is key to the unique Earl Grey flavour, but I cannot find any trace. Most of the tea leaves have been lost in customs too. These days, one Twining's tea bag can barely produce a medium cup of tea. It's a shame, really. To make matters worse, the packaging has also changed, for the worse. The box is tiny, which means we cut down their trees. However, the paper is so flimsy that it's impossible to open up the supposedly resealable box. At least not without destroying the packaging resulting in the eruption of tea bags forcibly dispatched to every corner of the kitchen. This is aggravated by coastal climes which leave the packaging a little limp from the humidity. Twining states that the tea is foil sealed for freshness, but that too has been seized by customers. It's all just carelessly tossed in the box. With one of the recent packages, the little bit of tea that is supposed to make its way into the bag misses the center so that it's stuck to the pressed perimeter. It then flakes off to the bottom of the box, or worse, into the teacup. Should I brew the box itself? After over 150 odd tealess bags, and endless unanswered messages and emails sent to Twinings. I've changed to a local brand. It's a third of the price of the imported tea, foil sealed, and they even include bergamot at no additional cost. Perhaps Twinings could apply these simple features to their own grade. It used to be the best. 